All right, guys, we got a 2018 Affinity. Uh, uh, this is a Q50. We're gonna do the rear pads and waters. So it is not, it's it, it's not electrical caliper here. It's not an EPB braking system, electric parking brake system. Regular caliper, just like a Maxima, very easy. 14 and a 19 millimeter, two and two in the bottom back here. So that's what you're looking at right here. My caliper will come out. You need to uh, save this little plastic piece here. Um, in this one, uh, I determined that these hardware is pretty good. So we don't need to go bananas with the hardware. We'll clean them, lubricate them, and uh, put on new brake pads and water. And there's an e-brake pads in there, uh, shoes. We'll clean them. If you want, do two clicks, three clicks. Try it on. No more than that. I wouldn't even bother because you can always access them from right from this hole. Other than that, you should be all set. So let's get this job going. So we're going to start off by removing... Uh, the 14 millimeters on the caliper okay to start off what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove um the 14 millimeters so you need to go kind of clockwise if you're looking from the back end so that's this way so it's a slider pin part of the bolt so it's like one long bolt all the way okay so this is one uh i'm losing up the bottom one here there you go so I'm using a 14 millimeter with the 3 8 dry ratchet. Probably gonna get another ratchet. This one feels kind of crappy, but let's see. And this feels rough, so it could be that these slider pins usually they seize up a bit. So this does feel kind of tough, and now it feels loose. There you go. I guess just the uh, threads are kind of rusted, which is fine. But the slider pin should, you see that? Should be nice and free. So that's one. Uh, the one I took off on the bottom doesn't have uh, the little plastic piece on the tip. And this one does have it. Once it's loose, I should be able to do this by hand. So this one should have a rubber piece right on the tip, just like that. So we're gonna clean this up and put new lube on these. Um, next, we're gonna take this caliper off, just like that, very simple. Just let it sit up here. It's not going nowhere. The brake pads are rusted out. Still have a little bit of life, but this customer came from dealer. They recommended it, but uh, probably good a month or so. Anyways, next up, we're gonna remove the two 19 millimeters on this bracket. All right, so right from the back here, I should be able to loosen this. This bolt does have washers, so make sure you keep the washers. And same thing up here. Oh, get a better angle. There you go. So once it's loose, I can't get it off by hand yet. I thought I would be able to do that, but I'm gonna keep going. There you go. And there's one more back here. So the rubber boot fell off, but we're gonna pick it up and put it back on. Uh, just don't lose that. Okay, now I should be able to take this guy off. Okay, still don't wanna come out. 
Wow. Okay, there you go. It's coming out. There you go, two bolts. One here, one there. It holds the bracket in. It has a washer. They're both the same size. So it's fine if you mix them up. But anyways, um, we're gonna bang this water out next. So we'll back up a bit. Okay, so we're gonna bang this baby out. But if you're reusing this water, you don't wanna bang on this water because you're gonna leave dents and dings and you're gonna warp the water. Um, if you're resurfacing this water, no need to replace the water because um, to re re uh, resurface the water, it's gonna cost you just as much as uh, getting new waters. Plus, if you take it to a shop where they resurface these, if they make any kind of warp to it or they install it wrong while cutting it, you're gonna have a shake and pulsation. And you're gonna end up doing it again. So it's better just do it properly the first time and this baby will come out. So you do need to take out this little plastic piece here. So what I wanna do here is uh, from the back end, just push on it and it will come right out just like that. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit of cleaning on the hub, uh, clean the shoes out. If you wanna just do three clicks, but I'm not gonna touch it because this is this car is pretty good. Um, the customer didn't use a lot of these brakes and Plus the new discs are a little bit smaller because they're not worn out. So making it tight, you're gonna cause trouble. Like I said, you can always access it from the, the little grommet I just took off from the rotor. You can spin it, bring it to the angle and make adjustment right from outside. Anyways, let me get some cleaners. All right, so um, clean up this hub. Just take a wire brush. So like I said, this car is pretty well maintained. So you might have to do a harder job on your car. That's all you need to do. Clean a little bit of where the bolts are gonna sit, the hub. And uh, I'm gonna get some cleaner. I'm gonna spray this down. Clean up the shoes. And that's it. A little bit more. And then we're good to go. And that's it, get all the dirt and debris out of there, the brick dust. Give it a moment, it's gonna dry up. We're gonna put some uh, greasing here. We're gonna put the new disc on, but when you get the new disc, make sure you clean it. Watch my videos on how to do that because it has oil on the disc. Anyways, I'm gonna show you the part that we're gonna use here. So we're using these electric coated brake waters here. Same stuff that came out. So this is what it look like. There you go. It has oil all over it. See that? Good stuff. So I'm gonna clean this, I'm gonna put that. And uh, part number on this one, if you got the same vehicle, there's the part number. Okay. And if you wanna look up the brand, good stuff. practice to make this lubricated so the water sits flush plus it comes off easy the next time plus it doesn't get rusted so just a little tiny amount of greasing all around don't put too much either too thick it's not gonna squeeze properly and water probably not gonna sit properly just enough and that's all you need I'm gonna get the water now and we'll just put that water on I clean this baby out only on the places I need to. Um, once you're done with this, usually you will smell and uh, see a little bit of smoke. That's because the little chemicals inside, so that's fine. And what we're gonna do is gonna put this on. Okay, there you go. That's it. So what we're gonna do next is prep the bracket. Okay, now uh, if you want to change this hardware, it's all up to you. But usually, I keep the originals because they're nice and thick. So if you see a lot of rust and corrosion on this, replace it. Like I said, this car is not used crazy, and uh, everything looks good. And just put some greasing on it, 
and I should take care of that. Same thing on the bottom one here. Okay, so once you do that, if you want, just throw some brake cleaner, parts cleaner. It should dry off really quick. Try not to spray inside the bore there. And that's it. Now we just wait for it to dry up. And uh, we'll use the greasing on the pads. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is, 